Crafts uh, is kind of unique here at Colorado College. Uh, we're not connected to the art department. We're a different department in ourselves. And mainly it's pottery, jewelry, and weaving. The whole idea of arts and crafts is to have a place where students can just kind of relax and take a break from their academic load, uh, come down and either continue doing something they might have gotten into in high school or learn to do something new that they can do here. All our classes are offered in the early evening, late afternoon or early evening, so they don't interfere with the academic class. Every block there are classes in beginning wheel throwing in clay, in hand building, in stained glass, and we have a beginning jewelry class or two every block. Chain mail was on our list this year. We have beginning weaving every block, tie-dye, screen printing, batik, felting, knitting, silk painting. So I'm actually a transfer student. I've been to two other schools, and neither school had access to this amount and um, these types of arts and crafts. Um, you had to be an art student. And so the Arts and Crafts Center has become my home. It's so cool. There's no other place really anywhere that you can, for 20 bucks a block, make however much of whatever you want always. I just really like that you get so much free range because I know I was worried with the block plan that it'd be very hard to do things outside of class, but it's you know $20 a block, which is really cheap. You can use as much of the material as you, as you have, um, really great instructors, um, and it's a really nice way to de-stress from class. I don't think there's any of that pressure of like, oh my gosh, you know, I have to be good at this. No, this is for absolutely everybody. And you don't have to have any level for it. Um, just come in with an open mind and be ready to try new things. And I think you'll love it.